I guess what does the Boris bounce actually mean? For me, it was very much about confidence and certainty back in the marketplace. And we've certainly seen that in real terms when we look at our business. Um, so love him or hate him, um, it's had a positive impact from my point of view. Yeah, I think it's been really good to get the election out of the way, get some certainty. The one thing the housing market always suffers from is a lack of certainty. Um, people are making big decisions, they need to know where they stand for the long term. Uh, and I think that's been the thing that's been lacking over the last you know, maybe year or two years. Um, so I, th I think that's the, that's the, the biggest change we're going to see. I think it has. Mm. I think it's had a positive impact. If yes. we look at our own business, particularly in the latter stages of 2019, mm. we saw an improvement in our sales. Uh, we saw some buyer activity coming back into the marketplace mm. and that certainly had a good impact on our business. So no, no doubt about that at all. Yeah, I think it's I think it's unsurprising. I think you know we, we've we've always um, wanted some um, some certainty within the marketplace, and I think the election out of the way. Um, certainly, Brexit looks like it's sorting itself out now to a, to a greater or lesser extent. So, if we can stop obsessing about these things and start getting on with what's important, which is living our lives, buying and selling and moving and and, and moving forwards, I think that will be that will be great for everybody. And I think we also saw an uplift in house prices. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we finished the year um, and house prices actually peaked for us. Mm -hmm. So I think that's good for buyers and for sellers and bodes well for, for the year ahead as well. It's really positive. I think the market's starting to get a bit of momentum um, and, and that's absolutely crucial, I think. Well, I guess first things first, you've got to choose the right agent. Um, for me, it's all about trust trust that that agent understands what's important to you and is prepared to work with you during what can be quite an emotional process mm -hmm. and probably the most important thing that all sellers want to benefit from is making sure they get the best price for their home um, so I think that's pretty pretty critical because it's not just your home it's your investment as well isn't it absolutely I think one of the one of the best ways you can do that is make a good decision about when you put your house on the market um, there's always that dilemma about whether you want to find first or, or sell first. Um, you know, I, I think best advice is definitely get your get your property onto the market and get yourself under offer. Yeah. Put yourself in a really, really strong position, yeah. um, and it's it's the best way of helping yourself move forwards. I think. Oh, I totally agree. Yeah. And from a practical point of view, mm. it's about understanding that first impressions count. Um, so when you put your home on the market, just think about what that potential buyer is going to see, because that's the thought that they're going to be left with. So, you know, if your property needs a bit of tidying up, whether it's from, you know, outside the garden, or whether it's doing a bit of paint work, just ensuring that all of those loose ends and those jobs perhaps that you've been putting off, now would be a good time to get on and do them. I feel really positive about the market for yeah. next year. Yeah. Um, if 2019 was anything to go by, the latter stages we saw house price growth, we saw an improvement in the market mm. and I've got a strong feeling that house prices will continue to grow throughout 2020, mm. probably 2%, maybe a little bit more. Mm. I know everyone's got a slightly different view on that but mm. um, you know, it's, it's, it's a positive view from my point of view. I feel really bullish about prices for the first time in a, in, in a while. Um, I just feel the, pro the, the property market has got a bit of momentum to it for the first time and it just feels like that pent up demand is starting to come to fruition so uh, I, I, I would be uh, I'll be surprised if we don't see a little bit more than two percent if I'm honest we'll see well it's uh, nice to agree on something it does at ne last. nearly <laughs>